This year, we are particularly thrilled to enjoy the support of volunteers from MIT's Undergraduate Society of Women in Mathematics, or USWIM. Our next speaker, Allison Kanicki, is USWIM's president. Allison and the USWIM leadership have helped us put together an awesome program for you. Allison is a current MIT senior and was a contestant in the very first Math Prize for Girls event in 2009. As a math with computer science major at MIT, Allison has explored the many applications of math through various internships, both in industry and research. She has conducted research with MIT's linguistics and math departments, along with Oak Ridge National Laboratory's Math and Computer Science Research Program. Additionally, Allison has worked as a data scientist at a startup, obtained a work fellowship at a German conglomerate, and interned as a researcher at the top economic consulting firm in the nation. The one constant she has found through these work experiences is that math is an indispensable tool in all work that interests her. Please welcome Allison Kanicki. Thanks, Kate. So first off, congratulations on finishing your exams. Hope you're not too tired, so I'll try to keep this short and sweet. Um, thinking back, there are a few things that I wish I had known in high school when I was sitting back there um, after Math Prize for Girls. I'm definitely not old and wise now, but I hope what I tell you in the next few minutes might help you out in the coming years and shed some light on why I think competition math specifically is highly important. So when I competed here in 2009, the only math I'd ever really had exposure to was competition math. I tried doing physics research one summer in Taiwan, and somehow managed to get an R squared value of 0.99 in an experiment. And I was like, hey, I'm pretty much like set for all of life. I'm great at all of math and every single application. As it turns out, once I got to college, people started talking about how competition math was useless. That type of quick on your feet math wasn't used in pure math research or any proof-based classes. Most applied math was done conjointly with coding, which isn't tested in competition math. I got an undergrad research job and ended up with dismal results. None of the math was coming together, and I started wishing that maybe I'd studied history or something else instead of spending all of my high school afternoons at math team practice. Then I started looking for internships. At my first interview, I was completely overdressed and super awkward, like, hi, I'm Allison, can you please hire me? Because I'm broke. So <laughs> I'd heard that this particular company's interview questions were very technical and difficult, but I hadn't really studied much for it since I had spent the entire past evening uh, doing a math problem set for school. So after the first minute of canned introductions, she started quizzing me. And she asked, what is the probability that you roll two fair dice and the sum of their faces is seven? And I literally sat there with my mouth open, like I thought she was joking and started laughing. Obviously from our math background, we know that one sixth is trivial to find, but this was a legitimate question that they used to see if applicants were capable of working there. In later rounds of interviews, the questions got harder, but still held on to a common theme. Almost all of them were derived from concepts that I'd learned in competition math. Overall, as it turns out, companies will recruit from specific departments. So the computer science majors are recruited for coding, biologists for lab jobs, economists for finance, mechanical engineers for design. But People who know math can do any of these things, since the traits that employers look for are things that you've learned and honed in doing things like Math Prize for Girls. Competition math teaches you to think quickly under pressure. You're forced to think outside the box to find a more elegant solution. It teaches you very distinctly that perseverance pays off, and you learn humility from the problems that you end up solving incorrectly. You get fast, and you get good at what you do. And so you know better than most that when the clock's ticking down and you're only halfway through solving a problem, you don't just give up. You work through the rest as fast as you can, and you do your best at giving a reasonable, intelligent answer. And this could not be more useful in a time-sensitive environment. Furthermore, you know the importance of self-learning. You could not have made it to Math Prize for Girls without studying extra on your own. And very few people are capable of doing this effectively, and learning how to learn puts you one step ahead of your own game. These aren't just traits that employers value. These are things that better you as a person, and they make you more efficient and more learned. And so after doing more interviews and learning more competition-type math along the way, I was glad to find that my skills weren't going to waste, 
and that I was still able to develop them. But my research results were still pretty terrible, so I ended up going to an undergraduate math event on student research at MIT. It was held by the Undergrad Society of Women in Math, and that's how I accidentally got sucked into the organization, which I can now call my second family. It was with them that I learned that every person has a metaphorical toolbox. It contains the tools that you can pull out and use at any point in life. I had competition math as a tool already, but was starting to accumulate more. Research methods, coding, economics. So through USWIM, I gained even more tools, such as communication and confidence. USWIM is a wonderful source of female role models and peers who helped me develop as a person. Take a look at the girls sitting next to you. These could eventually be the people who inspire you to do great things, just like Yuswim did for me. And looking back, it wasn't just Yuswim who inspired confidence in me. This really did start from competition math when I came to events just like Math Prize for Girls and slowly became more and more confident in my own ability. My confidence further developed when working in environments where I was in the minority. And so it was with Yuswim and another group, Girls Angle, that we piloted a new math event for middle and high school girls two years ago. And it's a perfect complement to Math Prize for Girls, as it's basically a day of non-competitive math solving. All the girls have to collaborate on problems sitting together in one room. While you can learn many great skills from competition math, there's also much to be learned from collaboration. So that's where my competition math took me to today, pretty much the complete opposite, all while using the skills I gleaned from things like Math Prize for Girls. And if you can go to the complete opposite, who knows what else you can do with competition math further down the road? Looking around today, I know that math is a tool that all of you are very capable of using. So don't stop learning math and keep adding to your toolbox. Congratulations again, and good luck in all that you do. Thank you.